We have a call to action. As implementation and utilization of electronic health record system continues to grow, it's important that we seize the opportunity to optimize the functions and the benefits. Adherence does depend on the choices patients make when they are not in the doctor's office, and technology can help improve that. FDA, the Center for Drugs, is really interested in making sure that the solutions as they are built enable all these parts of drug therapy to be optimized. Making sure that that information is available at the time the physician is electronically prescribing. We need also to be able to deliver targeted drug alerts, box warnings, and other key FDA messages directly to providers via the EHR. 50% of U.S. physicians are in an EHR right now. More likely than not, in the next 24 months, it's going to get to 70%. The electronic health record is going to increasingly become the doctor's workspace. If I was going to create and run the world, you know, what mm -hmm. I would see is mm -hmm. when I'm about to prescribe a medication, when I'm sending, I'll be prescribing, and you're about to do it, and it would pop up and it would tell me those crucial things that right. I need to know. Like most physicians, I get uh, FDA alerts, FDA box warnings in the mail. And like most physicians, I glance at them and immediately deposit them in the recycle bin. Not because the information is not important, it is important, but because it's delivered to me out of context and hence it goes in the recycle bin. Which is why integrating this into the electronic health care workflow is so critical. It's delivering that information at the point of care, in context, at the time that I'm making decisions. It would be very nice if while we're in the EHR and we're in the process of prescribing a medication to a patient that we have the ability to see if there's any kind of assistance program that's available. When you prescribe a medication, it'd be nice to have maybe a check or something that when the prescription prints out in your office, that $5 copay card automatically is there. This is where web portals will be so valuable to increase the single most important aspect of chronic care, in my mind, from a primary care physician point, and that is patient compliance. Has compliance increased? I believe it has because before when, you, when we used to handwrite the prescriptions, what would happen with that prescription is the patient would take it home, hang it up on the refrigerator door, put it on the desk, and there it sat for the next year versus you know, transmitting a prescription electronically. Now I've heard that the pharmacies keep calling the patient, hey, come pick up your prescription, come pick up your prescription. I get a lot of my information now from my, from my smartphone, my cardiology website, from Hippocrates or, or Medscape, and we much nicer click on, you have all the new warnings. If you use that drug on that patient, it can just pop right up and give me information. You can, you know, look at your EHR talking to a patient, prescribing a drug, and there's a wait a minute, I have to go look this drug up and see if you can take it. It's too much time, it's too much involved. If it's all in one system, it would make things easier so that we could see things, we could make our decisions and treat the patient. We at the doctor's company truly believe that uh, many of these medication-related errors could be prevented at the point of care if we had this quick access there, not only to the recent FDA uh, drug alerts and warnings, but also the FDA label changes and also any adverse drug event that occurred. But physicians want more, and they want more now. They are asking for not only product expertise, but help with disease education and for care management strategies that can help improve outcomes. We see great potential for EHR to complement and strengthen the work we do every day to improve patient health. There's one thing about the digital age, it's empowerment, decentralization, and speed. It is the future and we have to embrace it, become part of it, channel our inner package insert and our inner label and make it work.